Sharon Armstrong, TX Stampin' Sharon. On today's video, I'm going to show you what inspired me to make this card. And I think you're gonna find it kind of interesting. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, you can do so with that button below. Once you subscribe, hit the little bell and you'll know when I upload another video to YouTube. Thanks for watching and I sure would love to hear your comments about what inspired me to make my card. As a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we like to do something called swapping. And on my recent Alaskan cruise, I swapped with some other demonstrators. So um, I was inspired to make this card from this card. And the whole purpose of today's video is to show you, take something that inspires you, use what you have in your craft room, and make a beautiful card. Let's get started. So I'm using the Peaceful Reflection, and for my sentiment, I am using Dragonfly Dreams, and I put in there to a wonderful friend. So this card could be used for anything. I could have used any of the stamps, but I decided to pick this one. I have my basic gray and my Blackberry Bliss cardstock. You need a Versamark pad. I'm gonna bring in my uh, paper piercing mat. And I want to take and just kind of pat a little bit of my embossing buddy on there so that my copper embossing powder sticks where I want it to. And then of course we're gonna use our sticky Versamark ink. And I'm just going to stamp randomly on my card. I found that three fits very nicely. Pour a little bit of embossing powder on here. Well, maybe a lot. And now I'm gonna heat set. We're gonna set that aside. I've already cut my um, basic gray cardstock, and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment, also with Versamark. And now we're gonna heat set it. Oh, I still need that, so we'll leave that out. So I wanted to give you a little tip. I already uh, used the triple banner punch for one end of my banner. And I want my edge to be fairly close to the point, but it's a little hard to judge that um, by punching both ends. So I like to just take my um, sentiment layer, let me hold it down here, put it into, and I can barely see where my paper is, my sentiment layer, whoops. and it works out really well. So just a little tip for you, I hope that helps you. We're gonna adhere these together. Go 
ahead and add some dimensionals since we have that flipped over. And now we're gonna add adhesive to this layer. This is my Blackberry Bliss. The card opens this way. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my copper thread and wrap it multiple times around. So I wanna leave a good tail there to tie. This stuff is tricky to tie, um, especially if you have nails, I guess. I don't know, I struggle with it. So we're just gonna be tying it in a knot so we don't have to worry too much about um, leaving enough room for a bow. I can't tie it in a bow. So I think I did it about four or five times. Since the thread is so fine, I wanted to be able to see it. I've got both ends here and we're gonna cut off. And I really want to pull that taunt. I'm gonna kind of hold it Whoops, see, I told you, it's hard to hold. And I wanna, actually, I kinda like it like that, but the, on my card, I had it slid towards the edge. Okay, we got that done. So now I'm gonna snip off the ends. And straighten up my lines a little bit. I hope you can see how pretty this uh, copper thread is. It just adds more elegance to this card. So the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and add our sentiment banner. And on my inspiration card, she used some embellishments that I didn't have yet. You know how that goes. You're like, oh, you see something in the catalog. You're like, that is really cute. I need to order that or I wanna get that and I didn't. So, and let me just point out what I'm talking about. So she actually tied her linen thread around the little leaves and since I didn't have that and I'm not using those leaves anyway, I decided to make my own embellishment. You know, you don't always have to purchase accessories and embellishments. This is actually a made, this is um, faux metal and I will show you how I did it. Let me grab my let me grab my paper. And I'm just gonna take an add Versamark ink to my Blackberry Bliss. I'm using the same color cardstock. I'm gonna pour on some embossing powder. This is the this is, there's several ways to do this technique, but this is the least stressful. You know, stamping should be fun and not stressful. Now, one way to do it is while it's hot, pour some more powder on. But I found that this is less stressful to do it this way. So it's pretty much cooled. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add more Versamark ink and more copper powder. So I have my Versamark pad and here's my little dragonfly. I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up so that my stamp doesn't want to stick to my embossed area. Heat it again. And then stamp. 
gonna hold it there for just a few seconds. Then I'm gonna leave it until it's a little cooler. Clear up my area a little bit. I have a one and one quarter inch punch. And then you just kind of peel this off. And I'm not sure if you can tell on the video, but you can actually see the Blackberry Bliss through the dragonfly's body. Pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool. So make sure it's good and dry before you punch it. I may have gone into in the middle too much. Nope, there we go, I can reach him. So we'll just center that, punch him out. So this adds a beautiful copper embellishment that basically was free. You already have the stamp, we already have the embossing powder, it's free. So we're gonna go ahead and add some dimensionals to the back. I hope that you will join me in the next upcoming videos because I have several other inspiration cards from my cruise that I will be sharing with you. And I'm telling you, I had so much fun. So basically to me, it was almost like looking at the card like you would look on Pinterest. But, and so like when you're looking on Pinterest at card designs, you know, change it up. Change the colors, use different stamps. Don't put yourself in a box and you go, oh, I love that card, but I don't have what she used. Use what you have. Thank you so much for watching today and spending a little bit of time with me. I hope that you were inspired and I would love to hear if you take my inspiration cards and make one of your own using what you have in your own craft stash. Thank you guys, happy stamping.